Atlas Comics has turned into something more than just Atlas Comics. It's also turned into Jake's House and Eels. <laughs> See something that's interesting to you? Make me an offer. I'm sure we can find a middle ground because it's all gotta go. Whoa. Welcome to Jake's House and Eels. <laughs> Jake, Jake, OmegaCon's over. We're not doing crazy deals. Not everything's for sale. Yeah, I know, but I really love the rapid air horn. Way early, way earlier than February, it's Black Panther, Volume One, from Tanishi Kanahisi Coates. Tanishi Coates, Coates. So I heard someone say Coates. Anyways, Black Panther has been one of the biggest Marvel books in the last six months. If you haven't checked it out, this is your chance. If you ever want to read Black Panther, this is probably one of the better books. So check out Black Panther, Volume One. We got a uh, Suicide Squad one-shot called Suicide Squad War Crimes. This is Amanda Waller sending the team on a mission, and you know what? It's suicide! X-Men 92 finally gives you the crossover you've been waiting for. The Flaming Lips. That's right. It's the start of the Lillapalooza storyline, and it's going to feature like a bunch of other bands, like the Toadies and someone named Sugar Cane. I don't know who that is. And Ace, is that Ace Freely, Joey? Maybe. They're not all real bands, because one of them is Rick Jones and the Nega Band. <laughs> and one of them is Dazzler. Dazzler's a real band, though. IDW also brings us Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Universe. They're going to take a break from all the random side series and now just give you a book off to the side that is constantly tying in, but not 100% directly. There's some Eastman stuff in here. There's some other stuff. Um, if you can't get enough turtles, this is a great place. If you don't want something that's so steeped in the current continuity, it's also good. If you're in the mood for a gritty crime thing, but also kind of crude and dirty and may or may not have horror elements in later issues, check out Reincarnate. It's from Heavy Metal, but it's not a sci-fi thing. It's a gritty crime thing. I was assuming it was a guy who was gonna die and come back out of the car, but that hasn't happened yet. One of the best Civil War tie-ins, actually probably the best Civil War tie-in, is Choosing Sides. And this continues with a really awesome Nick Fury story, as well as Colleen Wing and Alpha Flight, guest starring the super dreamy Justin Trudeau, who is the president of Canada, if you, or prime minister of Canada, if you did not know, which is effectively the president of Canada if they had presidents. It's way classier. Sunday, 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 it's World of Tanks. There's tanks in Canada. Tanks in Kansas, tanks in Argentina, there's tanks everywhere. Actually, there's only tanks in like a World War II setting. But if that's your thing, then check out World of Tanks. It kind of reminds me of that movie that uh, Brad Pitt did last year with the Annoying Kai. You know that. Oh yeah, also it's written by Garth Ennis. And it's by Garth Ennis. Everyone loves a good bromance, and that's what you get here in Spider-Man Deadpool. This is volume one of the ongoing series and uh, this is really good, funny, Deadpool, but teaming up with Spider-Man is also kind of funny. It's Joe Kelly, Ed McGinnis. This is what you want. Get out your flow charts, kids. If you watched the Jessica Jones show on Netflix and loved it, then you started with Alias, then she was in Pulse, and then after that, she appeared in a lot of New Avengers and Avengers issues. Well, rather than hunting down just the issue she's in and cutting out the pages and putting them together, you can now get the Jessica Jones Avengers trade, which features her Avengers appearance. Most of them are new Avengers. In hardcover this week, we got the Deadpool Mini Bus Volume 2. This has yet more of the mini series compiled on for an affordable $75, which is good considering you get Deadpool vs. X-Force. Hawkeye vs. Deadpool, Deadpool's Art of War, Return of the Living Deadpool, and Deadpool's Secret Secret Wars that would cost you well north of $100 if you bought them all together. Act now, you can get Deadpool vs. Julia Childs. Does not exist. Also, in toy news, we have the Joker Killing Joke figure. We also have a Greg Capullo Joker figure, detached face and all, and we have a classic style Harley Quinn from the Arkham Knight Toys series. Unfortunately, we also had a lot of damaged comics this week. So the following titles will not be on the shelf this week so I can get copies that aren't totally wrecked. Crypt no Cryptocracy, no Tokyo Ghost, no Rocket Raccoon and Groot, no Hyperion, 
no Transformers, and no Harley Quinn gang of Harleys. I'm hoping to have them next week. I'll definitely have them within two weeks, and they won't be wrecked. Um, yeah. A Nerd Haiku Review. Last week's Haiku Review was called The Site's Down Due to Technical Issues. This week's review will be called I Better Fix Those Darn Technical Issues and Get the Site Back Up. And then maybe I'll review next week. Wish me luck. It's the internet, yo. Are you selling everything? No, I, I think that's... Oh, sure. Yeah. Bye. Thanks for watching. Film the skit or chill. Yeah. All right. The only difference I could tell is that there was two stories. In yeah, but it's also not 100% in line with the current series. It is. It is in that continuity, but it's not... What happens here does not directly tie into what happens in 56. Okay. You don't have to read... You don't have to read the main series necessarily read that. Okay. Captain Nitpicker. Optimus Prime Minister. Optimus Prime Minister. <laughs> nice! That... That should exist. It's World of Tanks. Yeah. Roll out. Tanks, Hank. Everyone loves a good Tanks bro, man. for the memories. Unless you want to buy them, wreck them yourself. It's your problem. Atlas Weekly has turned into something more. Oh, crap.